All right, can everybody see what's going on here in the mirror if you're in this area? Okay, so as promised, we're going to start learning about <coughs> yeast. Who can tell me what yeast is? Rogan. Isn't it like something with flour or something? No. Who else has an idea? What's yeast? An infection. <laughs> an infection. Um, does anybody ever have a yeast infection? You know what? Yeah, I once had like an infected fingernail and it turned into a yeast infection. What? Yeah, I went to the doctor. It was like swollen up and kind of pussy. Yeah. No, I mean it can. It can activate it. But what is it? Where does it come from? It's what? You think it's plant-based? You think you can grow it? Yes. Mm. Oh, isn't it like, I don't know. Come on. Is it wood? Is it wood? No. no. Fungus. It's not wood. Okay, you're wood. close, you're close. It's not fungus, but it's close. It's, I know it's like living or something. It's bacteria. It's not bacteria, because you wouldn't want to eat it. Give us the answer. Oh, cheese is bacteria. Um, cheese is just, I think cheese is milk. It comes from it's kind of, yeah, it's more mold, yeah. So, yeast is, and this is dehydrated yeast, dry yeast, but this is a single-celled microorganism that is everywhere. It's in the air, okay, and it makes like spores. How do you make collective? You just go like this? Good question, and we're going to learn more about this today. But what I'm going to explain to you today is this is just found everywhere. It's found on our skin. It's found floating around. You breathe it in. This is dehydrated, um, quick rise, instant yeast. What? Probably. You can buy fresh yeast, and it's like a cake type. It's called yeast cake, and it's fresh. What we use is more of an instant, and it reacts right away if it's gonna if it's gonna come alive. Now. Yeast is, it's not dead right now, but we store it in the fridge. Why would we store something in the fridge? To make it relax. Okay, you said dormant. Yes. That's a good word. It does get cold. Basically, the way I think about it is it's kind of like it's in a coma right now. But we got to keep it alive. We want it to slow down, but we want to keep it alive. Has anybody ever like witnessed a open heart surgery? I wanted to be a surgeon at one time, so I job shadowed. And I was in a room where they were doing this open heart surgery. They make the room super cold because they want every system to slow down while they're performing this. And if you slow it down, um, it stays alive, but you're easier to work on it. Have you ever heard of those people? If you get like frozen, what's that? Encino Man? Has anyone seen that movie, oh. Encino Man? Where this guy gets frozen like in a glacier or something? Well, I'm sure I saw this thing like they're trying to like freeze people in like nitrogen and bring them back in the future. Yes. So. Okay. So sure, sorry, sure. I got on a tangent there. <laughs> um, so anyway, we want to bring this back to life when we want to cook with it. So what happens when something's alive? What does it need to live or to like thrive and have energy? Food. It needs to have food. What's yeast going to eat? Fat. Maybe? Well, let's do a little experiment. I'm going to heat up some water. Now, one thing you do need to just kind of wake it up, it's not the energy or anything, but it just says like, hello, it's like the alarm clock. You're going to need some water that's about like 100 a.m. alarm clock. It's like the 5 a.m. alarm clock. Oh. It needs to be about 100 and, or excuse me, 105 to 115 degrees. What did I just say? 105 to degrees. If it is less than that, the yeast will say, oh, it's too early. I'm not waking up. If it's too hot, it'll say I'm dead and I won't rise at all. So we have to hit that spot between 105 and 115. So I'm going to put this in the microwave and I am going to need to use my digital thermometer to make sure that my temperature is right. If it's too hot, I can just add some cold water to get it into that right range. If it's too cold, I'll just microwave it a little bit longer. It's 
Oh, and if you're watching, I only have my mask off because I'm presenting. And she's far away from everybody. I am far away from everybody, so no judgment. Okay, I'm at, I'm at 106, 122, 123. I'm going to add a little bit of water. No, I'm just getting my water right. And why is it important to get our water temperature right? Okay, it's at 117, 118. I need more. 114. We're going to go with this. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in this one. They all have a tablespoon of yeast. This one and this one. Now in one of them, I'm going to put a tablespoon of sugar. Okay, so I'm going to put a tablespoon of sugar. I'm going to put a tablespoon of salt in the other one. And the other one we're just going to leave as our control. Now we're going to stop and we're going to turn and watch something called Dr. Strange Loaf. <laughs> Next. And this will explain all of your yeast questions. So I actually might have, just can't remember when this is going to take us. We can't pay attention to nothing. Hold on. I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it from. Oh. You're making eyes. Is that your cake, Miss Boyd? What? Is that your cake? No, it's not. Why not? Why? 